the Discord static or robotic issue is due to overprocessing on the audio. This video is going to quickly cover all of the fixes for the Discord static or robotic issue. The first thing I want to make sure you guys do is head over to your Discord user settings, go into voice and video. We're going to take a look at a few settings here. We want to make sure that the noise suppression made by Crisp is off. We also want to verify that the echo cancellation, the noise reduction, and automatic gain control are all off. These settings here can generally cause overprocessing on your microphone, which can essentially create that robotic or static sound. If turning these off fixes the issue, you don't need to watch any more of this video. If the issue still persists, there are some other things we can do. The next fix will require us to open our task manager. Make sure you run it as an administrator. From here, we're going to go over to details and we want to make sure we are sorting it in alphabetical order. What we are looking for is the audio dg.exe. The first thing we're going to do with this is right click it. We're going to set the priority and instead of having the priority on normal, we want to switch it over to high and go ahead and change that priority. Next, we're going to right click the source again. We're going to set the affinity for it. In here, we're going to untick all of the cores. What we need to do is select one core on our CPU to be processing this specific source. How you know your core is a physical core is by starting where the number starts here. In our case, it is zero. This one is a physical core and then every other one is a physical core. I have an i7 four core processor, so I have four cores, four physical cores in total. So you have one, two, three, and four. You want to select one of the physical cores for this specific source. I'm going to select the CPU two and go ahead and hit OK. I want to explain just a little bit what we did there. That file we just modified is the Windows Audio Device Graph Isolation. With a name like that, you might be a little bit confused on what the heck that does. Essentially, that file or that uh, process is actually allowing applications like Discord to run their own audio enhancement services. It's completely separate from the Windows Audio Engine, and that's how Discord is able to run those other audio processes within their application. The problem is, it uses a ton of CPU, especially when it has every single core and thread already toggled. If you actually don't want to modify that process itself, you can actually just untoggle uh, device enhancements within the device properties on your microphone. So let's take a look at that real quick. What we wanna do is go to the speaker icon in the bottom right, right click it, go to sounds. From here, we're gonna go to the recording tab. We're gonna find our device. We're going to right click it. We're going to the properties on that device. Then we will go to the advanced tab. And from here, we want to disable audio enhancements. This will essentially turn off that audio DG function for your device. If none of these fix your issue, there are still a few more things that we can do. Let's head back to Discord and go take a look at those audio settings again. In the audio settings, we want to go down all the way till we find the audio subsystem. You're most likely running the standard subsystem on your application. Something that you can try is switching this back over to legacy mode or experimental mode. If this doesn't fix your issue, the last thing we want to try is a third party client for Discord. There is a third party client called Lightcord that is a lightweight version of Discord. This generally is the last fix that we suggest for fixing this audio issue. There are other third party clients you can take a look at. For instance, Ripcord, if you're really interested in the whole third party client system. But what I suggest is running through those initial fixes that we talked about in this video. If you guys have any questions after watching this video, feel free to hop in my Gilded or Discord servers. Both of them are linked in the description below. If you guys have a fix that you're aware of that I didn't list in this video, feel free to leave those in the comment section below. If you enjoyed the video, make sure you leave a like and subscribe for more content like this. And uh, I want to thank you so much for watching. Peace out.